wanted to do something a little bit different in this video. In a running vlog that I did, I talked about getting the Ulanzi G9-4 cage for my GoPro Hero 9. Kind of wanted to show you guys how this thing works and what my initial thoughts are on it. Here's the cage itself. It's uh, made of plastic. Ulanzi does make a metal version of this, but I wanted the plastic one because I'm running with it and I'm mountain biking with it and I wanted something to be pretty light. So on this, you're gonna have, of course, the screen opening for your GoPro Hero 9, the lens, and then the back screen. But you also get a battery door with an open port for the USB-C connector. And I'll show you why that's there here in just a second. One thing you can do is it does come with a couple of different attachments. Uh, this is a filter attachment. It is threaded. So if you have some ND filters or other filters, you can uh, thread them on there and then snap this into place and you'll have a filter on your GoPro. It's a really nice add-on that they didn't have to do because you can buy filters specifically for the GoPro Hero 9, but this is really nice if you already have some of these filters that you may be using on some of your other cameras. The other thing is, is a lens guard. This is really nice if you throw your camera in your bag you can just pop this thing on and you don't have to worry about your lens getting damaged in the process. And all this stuff pops on and off real easily. They do offer a cold shoe mount right on the top and then they gave you this adapter here so you can add an additional cold shoe mount and basically you could have a microphone or a light or whatever other accessories you have that will go into these mounts. All these things just pop on and off real easy which is really, really nice. The main reason why I got this item was specifically for this little port here. This is for the 3.5 millimeter adapter for your GoPro. And basically how this works is you just slide this into the mount here and then push it down in and then it's secure. And I was really surprised at how secure this really was. I did go for a run as you guys saw the other day with it had no problems at all. It didn't move, it didn't budge. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty impressed with how tight of a fit this is, but also how easy it is to get in and out whenever you need to remove it. So when you go to mount your GoPro in this, there's a little button at the top, you'll just move that over and the door opens up. On older versions of these cases for the GoPro 7 and 8, the door slid. I like this option a little bit better just because you don't have to worry about so much. You can actually kind of force this thing closed even if it's not fully tight in there and it'll still lock in place. To get to access to the battery, it's the same thing. It's got a little button here that you push and it opens from the top instead of the bottom like the traditional GoPro battery uh, door on the actual camera itself. So let me show you how to actually install the GoPro on this. First on this, if you installed these little wind blockers on your GoPro like I did, on this case, you unfortunately can't have them on the top or on this side microphone. You can, however, have it on the front. It does make it a little bit tighter squeeze, but it does fit. However, with this case, the whole point of it is, is to be able to use a good external mic and not have to worry about the internal mics on the GoPro. So you might just wanna remove those all together whenever you get this. To do this, you're gonna to have to remove the battery door and it just pops off just like that on the GoPro Hero 9. But now your battery, your SD card and your USB-C port is exposed. But since this case actually has a door built into it, your battery will be secure, your SD card will be secure, and then you'll have an opening for this cable that is on the mic adapter. So first to get into this, what you wanna do is open up the back and then you're gonna to wanna to drop the battery door down then you can take your GoPro and it kind of feels like it clicks into place whenever you put it in there. Uh, so you'll know whenever it's secure. Then you can close the door and when that latch clicks back, you'll know you've got it in place properly. Then you'll want to close the battery door. Once you've got the battery door closed, you can just simply plug in your USB-C cable from your mic adapter. And there you go, that is how the Ulanzi G9-4 works. It's really secure. It doesn't add a lot of weight because it's plastic. It holds the GoPro adapter really well. You can attach it to things that have GoPro mounts like this selfie stick that I use whenever I go run, or you can 
to attach it to the chest mount for mountain biking and it really doesn't change your angle of view all that much. I really, really like this so far. I can't wait to use this a little bit more just to see how long and how durable it is. But as of right now, I highly recommend the Ulanzi G9-4. I did use my Rode Wireless Go mic on this uh, whenever I was on that run, and I really liked it. It stayed secure. I did not feel like it was actually going to fall off at any point in time. However, this cold shoe mount does feel a little bit loose. I would not go running with it. This would be more for walking or hiking um, or just basically around the house because it does pop in and out. It's probably my least favorite part of the whole thing. I wish this was a little bit tighter, but in the end, it works just fine. So if you guys have any questions on this, just let me know in the comments below. I really, really like it. I'll put some links in my description down there for all the different models that they have. And then that way you can find them real easy. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. This is a little different than what my other videos really are. But the main reason why I wanted to do this is because I know a lot of people that follow me do use GoPros for mountain biking and running and other activities. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.